Hello beautiful souls, welcome back. It's so good to have you guys. As you can see, we have three piles that we'll be working on to hear messages in regards to your love life. This is one of the requested videos that someone asked for recently down in the comments. I forget your username, but I really appreciate it. I appreciate the feedback and hearing exactly what it is that you guys wanna see here on the YouTube channel. So that's what we'll be doing today. We also will be working with the Crystal Spirits Oracle. This is one of my new additions. This is not a sponsored video from Colette Baron Reed at all, by the way, but um, this is one of my newest additions to my Oracle deck collection. So I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting accustomed to it, but I'll be reading shuffling, pulling, and reading the messages that are coming from that oracle deck in particular. And as you can see here on the far right, I have these beautiful pink roses that I got from Rose Forever. They have been super generous in sending this, these out to me. I have these ones and I also have a white box of, of white roses in my bedroom as we speak. And for Women's Month, they are offering a 20 $20, not 20%, $20 off discount coupon code that you guys can use to get your own box. And I've had these for longer than a year and I still love them. I adore them. In fact, I will be investing very soon, very shortly using that coupon code. Hopefully they'll let me do it. But um, using that coupon code on a bigger box because I, I'm obsessed. You guys know I love plants, flowers, and the such. And these don't... Um, they don't expire, they don't go bad, so they have been the gift that keeps on giving. So shout out to you guys and um, shout out to Rose Forever. The links to that I will put down below in the description box, but until then, go ahead and take some time to look at your card piles and find the one that you're gravitating towards the most, and then I will see you at your uh, timestamp. Alright, so for those of you that chose pile number one, this is your love message reading. The oracle decks that I'll be working with this afternoon will be linked down below if you are interested. For whatever reason, I was really gravitating towards the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, which is right here under my tarot pouch. I'll link that one as well, but I think the Nightmare Before Christmas is one of the most romantic stories, cartoon stories, if you ask me, but I've always been odd as a child. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you agree with me. I think it's so sweet. Okay, so this card wanted to jump out for sure. Whoa. So we have Queen of Potions, which is the Queen of Cups initially. Let's see if she will. So it's so interesting because as I'm looking at this, I'm definitely getting 8th house vibes. I'm getting Scorpio energy. And regardless of what your sun sign is, regardless of what your moon sign is, your Venus, I really am being called to talk to you about Scorpio, Scorpio vibes. Interestingly enough, Scorpio is a water sign, but it deals with the depth of our emotion. It deals with our ability or inability to connect intimately with ourselves, with the world, and with others. And this is some stuff that I am really seeing coming up for you right now when it comes to your love life. Either you are really wanting to connect deeper with someone or I'm getting a vibe that there's this, regardless, spirit, I feel spirit is saying in order to connect deeper with other people, you've got to be open to connecting deeper with yourself. I am also feeling like with the Queen of Cups, I'm hearing the words, um, lose yourself. And... I, as I say that, I'm getting the duality of that duality. There's the one side that says losing yourself, uh, you know, that it's almost like a warning, being very cautious and aware of where you allow yourself to slip and ease into, what relationships, what things. It could even be your career, your goals, what you're allowing, you're, you're easing yourself into it. It's really giving me hot tub, hot tub vibes. 
but the hot tub could be a blessing or it could be a cesspool depending on how you're taking care of it and that's what i'm seeing when it comes to your ment your emotional well-being that bleeds into your romantic life your mental health and the rest of the rest of your world and with Scorpio, you can't be afraid. Again, this is regardless of your sun sign, regardless of your ascendant, regardless of your moon or Venus or Mercury. With this energy of Scorpio that is coming up here, Spirit is guiding you to not be afraid. I just heard the word hindered. Do not be afraid of the things that you are you might have shame in or you might feel a little embarrassed sharing it or you might not have become so comfortable with certain aspects within yourself that spirit is guiding you to share with another person and i'm really getting a strong sense that spirit is saying if you want to deepen your connection with other people you have to be also comfortable with deepening your connection with yourself with having an intimate relationship with yourself that is so important that is so imperative and the last thing that i'll say that is coming through because there's a lot of intuitive messages that are coming through just from this card you guys know that i usually shuffle and pull a, um and a, a mix you know but right now i feel so called to just stop here this cesspool right and that's such a specific word but again it's a hot tub could be a cesspool if you're not careful and if you're not taking care of it right so if you are not taking care of the hot tub that salt bath or that um chlorine bath or whatever it is that you're resting in it can the balance of that can get skewed really really quickly and what would normally be healthy and cathartic and relaxing soon becomes problematic soon opens the door for bacteria infection or fill in the blank what will what will you and i just am really getting a strong sense of spirit saying right now with the queen of cups showing up you know regardless of where you're at right now regardless of your circumstances you can turn it around and don't be ashamed don't feel filthy don't feel bad don't feel like you're don't hide yourself don't hide yourself away from or hide aspects of, of yourself away from people while wow, these cards really wanted to jump out don't hide your aspects of yourself away from people in certain circumstances because that's how you actually find your tribe that's actually how you find your people is by sharing with them because it it creates yes it's a risk yes it makes you vulnerable but it also will help to heal certain aspects of yourself that you are that you have feel that you have felt are unlovable untouchable i'm also hearing unbreakable some of you guys need to by sharing and being more intimate with another person or you're developing your intimacy within yourself, it breaks you open in a good way. It breaks you open in a very good way. So the next few cards that it is that we're seeing here are the hanged man, the five of swords and the six of pentacles. Now, this second layer that is coming through for me, for you guys, shows me that this, I just heard punishment. You punish yourself by walling yourself up by walling yourself away from the world or by keeping some things off limits with the six of pentacles here it's it's about what we give what we take and sometimes what we give and take can really be symbolic or represent or demonstrate our our energy internally what we are comfortable with giving receiving our self-worth our self-value what we expect from others and what we expect from ourselves or from our relationships etc if you believe in this you know this cesspool cesspool of energy if you believe that you are not worthy or that in order for you to be loved you have to constantly be giving you have to constantly show up you have to constantly violate your boundaries then you are only ultimately going to punish yourself and be stuck in a position where you are hindered and you can't move forward you can't 
um, deepen your connection. You can't feel happy or you can't feel satisfied or you block yourself up off from those people who are so ready and willing to give to you exactly what it is that you deserve, exactly what it is that you need. So this is another layer that is coming through when it comes to the love life. So this is a message that I, I want this group to hear, Queen of Cups. Whether you normally are the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, or the Queen of Cups herself or himself, I really want you to, to be a bit more um, observant in exactly what it is that you are creating, again, in this hot tub, as far as, okay, is are things equal in your love life? Are things equal in your mind? Are things balanced out? It's giving me very much temperance energy. If the if the vibe is off and you won't allow yourself to accept, accept it, to receive it, to achieve it, to be it, to become it, to embody it without shame, without anger, without um, you know, has it a uh, resistance? Then what? It, what are you going to be creating here? Ultimately, what is it that you're going to be creating? Okay, let's look at the next layer here. We have six of swords, knight of wands, and the seven of cups reversed. So this is showing me right away that spirit is saying, as soon as you decide, especially with this hangman card. As soon as you see and decide, okay, honestly, Jess, like, I feel like this is us having a conversation right now, just with our coffee, with our water, with our candle, with our flowers over here, where it's just you and me right now, right? So I just feel like some of you guys are saying, listen, Jess, honestly, this is where I've been handicapped. This is where I've been crippled. This is where I've been kind of blocked in this area in my relationships in my life in my blessings and now that you're saying it I see it and spirit says that if you can at least see it then put it out there into the universe put it out there into the world and commit to yourself and then things will begin to move forward what spirit doesn't want is for you to continue to burn energy spirit is clearly telling me it's not wasting energy but it's burning energy you don't want to continue to burn energy and spin around in circles, making yourself dizzy or making your partners dizzy or adding these dizzying factors in, into your love life when you could sit for a minute, see it for what it is, and then say, okay, wait, I'm doing it again. And it's okay. There's no shame. There's this big thing right here that is trying to hide it away so that the rest of the world can't see or that someone can't see. Okay, this is where she suffers. This is where she struggles. This is where she lacks. I really want to talk to you guys and say that no one person gets it all right all the time. Every single relationship is very uniquely its own and has its own ups and downs, its highs and its lows, and things that we all have to work through together as a partnership, as a unit. And we don't want to avoid that. We don't want to ignore it. You just want to be prepared for it and open to adjusting so that your relationship, whether you're in a relationship now or you're about to enter into one, it flows more easy and effortless because I promise you, you are going to evolve, your partner is going to evolve, and you guys want to make sure that you're evolving together. And this also applies if you're single, looking, or putting the energy out there, because this is about as you have evolved, and as you are evolving, you still want to incorporate or and, and honor the pieces of your life that you were, honor the place in your life that you are now and prepare and build and be excited for where it is that you are going but do it with intention do it with clarity so that you're not spinning your wheels okay so let's go ahead and see what's going on with your oracle decks and this is the first one on top is the nature speak oracle i'm pretty sure look sunshine shine forth i think when i see this it's a very cloudy day here in florida but the clouds kind of break every once in a while and the sun will will you know show itself and this is really a strong message that as i'm seeing for you guys as well which is don't be afraid of your clouds don't be ashamed of your clouds clouds are good or moments where you feel foggy moments where you feel lost moments where there's blockages are opportunities for you to say opportunities for growth honestly and I also feel this is confirmation for those you look sunflower happiness at hand I was just about to say that this is about focusing on your happiness it's about focusing on your joy I'm also hearing pride 
at the end of your life, what are you going to be most proud of? That's what Spirit is really saying right now. What are you going to be most proud of? Not in a way of arrogant, but just be like, yo, I accomplished this. I achieved this. And it's not that you have to put that on the line, but it's to say that that's the reward. That's the greatest reward that you are moving towards, especially with the Six of Swords. But if you're not acknowledging, if you're not allowing yourself to acknowledge the problems that are current, the problems that it is that you're facing now, again, you're going to build a cesspool and not a hot tub. All right. So <laughs> that's very specific. Look, my love, ocean, life, death, and rebirth. So this is just confirmation that no matter where you're at in your life, no matter how young, no matter how old, no matter how experienced, no matter how in lack of experience it is that you have, no matter your cultural backgrounds, we are all inevitably going through some level of cycles in all of our relationships. And it's something that is inevitable. We don't want to run from it. We want to embrace it. Just like the waves of the ocean come in and then they pull out. That's the same energy that we get with the with our relationships especially so with the six of pentacles card right so this is about what we give what we take and why we give and why we allow ourselves to receive it and making sure that it's at minimum balanced because if it's not balanced it's going to upset the ecosystem again it's going to upset our our hot tub it's going to upset our peace of mind it's going to upset our relationship look rose this is saying, uh, literally, this is connecting me and tying me to the Queen of Cups. This is a person, and this pile needs to hear how beautiful they are, how much the spirit or the divine or the universe is, is prepared to give them, how much they are destined to give to others. But it's really about being gentle with yourself. It's about embracing your thorns as well as your flower knowing what you know works for you knowing what you need to receive in order to bloom and to be prosperous and to be fragrant what makes you feel loved what makes you feel supported what makes you feel like you're thriving go ahead and share that because those who really want to make you happy they will do it and honestly i'm not getting a lot of um I'm not getting the energy from this pile that is asking too much. I feel like this is a pile that says, I might be asking too much. They have a lot on their plate or this type of thing doesn't exist. And spirit says, literally, you're not asking for enough. Shine out and say and speak what would truly make you happy because it will happen, but you have to know it. You have to speak it. Okay, romance oracle. We have past life relationship. Look, you deserve love. So there might be some aspects within yourself that you really truly are blocking. Maybe it's, you know, issues of being abandonment issues or self-worth issues or confidence issues, being bullied or whatever the case is that is resurfacing now that is making you feel like you're asking too much. And spirit is saying, like I said, you're not asking for enough new love. So this is either it's what the specific message of someone is truly about to enter into, you know, this new life, especially with life, death, and rebirth. You know what I mean? Don't stay in situations that are stagnant, that are toxic, that are futile is something that's coming through. Your love life is meant to enter into a new direction, but you want to be open to receiving it. If you are currently in a relationship, you want to, I don't want to say assess it, but are you happy? Is there, are there things that, you know, need to be changed? Are there things that need to be reborn? Are there things that need to die? Um, it, this doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship itself, you're going to throw it away and move forward, but it's entering into new territory. It should be entering into new loving territory. And if that truly is the case, let go of the past, let go of what it once was, embrace the fact that you are you have evolved, that your partner has evolved, that the relationship has is evolving, and let's build upon that. For those of you guys that are happy and content within your relationship, I feel like this is by you stepping more into um, you know, what makes you happy and your needs and you receiving, it's going to take the relationship to the next level. What else do we have here? Guardian angels. Your guardian angels listening, meditation, your guardian angels are telling you and encouraging you to speak up and to connect with yourself in order to really hear where the imbalance is within you. Really um, connect with yourself and say, you know what, I'm, I'm happy, but 
this would make me happier or this would be awesome. It could be something as simple as going on a trip, getting out of the house, doing things differently, kind of breaking away from the monotony. And what's gonna help you is meditation. Some of you guys feel like everything is fine so I don't wanna ask for too much because I don't wanna upset and uproot the balance. But the thing is is that, again, Spirit is saying you're not asking for too much and if you're in a relationship right now, your partner might be feeling it as well and it's beneficial for you guys to, you know, in in infuse your relationship with new with newness and vibrancy some of you guys um for those of you guys that are meditating and and calling out for your soulmate really listen to you know your soul right now really listen to your guardian angels because they are really ready to show up and and whisper in your ear ask for this or look out for this or maybe consider this okay when it comes to your relationships what else do we have most people are just trying to survive most people, most people, since when do we want to be like most people? I, okay, so that's what I just heard. And that was a quote from Meet the Falkers. Love that movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. That's your homework. So it's about this very eccentric, lovely couple. And um, I forget the father's name, but his it's something, it doesn't matter. But he says to his son... Most people, when do we want to be like most people? And that's the thing. Do you really want to be like most people? Just like accepting and surviving with your relationship, just barely getting by? Like at the end of, you know, your journey and you say, you know, we made it, but it could have been cooler. It could have been more amazing. It could have been this. It's like, it really embrace your uniqueness. Queen of, Queen of Cups here. Really embrace your, your uniqueness. Really embrace your oddities. Really embrace your darkness. Um, in order to really truly get exactly what it is that you want that's going to make the relationship amazing. Look, love doesn't have to be near. So this is something that whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single, the energy that you put out, the energy that you radiate, your emotional um, status, it vibrates. It sends out a really powerful vibration. Love is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. That is so true. And it put, it gives off an aroma. It doesn't need to be near in your backyard, in your hands for it to be felt. And the changes that you make within yourself impact your relationship, impact your partner, whether you're with someone or whether you're not. So make sure that you're good. Make sure that you're solid. Challenges. These challenges are there to guide you. These challenges are there to inspire you. These challenges are there for your growth. So don't sh shy away from it. Open your heart, my loves. Look, you have the red rose yet again. So this is about really totally embracing Queen of Cups, embracing who you are, embrace what makes you beautiful, embrace, embrace what makes you unique. Next rose, <laughs> the white rose, purification. There are aspects, again, this is bringing me back to the cesspool, it's bringing me back to the hot tub, that you just kind of wanna I don't want to say put chemicals in, but check the balance. Check the temperature of the water. What is off right here? What could make it better? Time to decide. This is you saying, okay, intuitively I'm guided. Intuitively I'm pulled to ask for this. When you decide, the universe puts it into motion. And then we have, oh my goodness, reflection and non-judgment. Non the lady of the mirror. This really brings me back to the Queen of Cups. It's not about in, in looking at yourself with judgment. It's not about looking at others with judgment. It's just saying, okay, this is what it looks like to me. This is what it feels like to me. Let me share it with another person. Let me see it for myself. The Camel Boy, small steps and asking for help. Really, it's the small steps that's gonna help you to move forward. And I feel like this is about you speaking out and you being heard and then listening to another person, asking them and hearing them, it's gonna be a reflection. And that's the other thing too, twin flame soulmates, they reflect each other, they mirror each other. So the progress that you're making on yourself impacts them and vice versa. And that, it, that, all that to be said, I hope this message makes sense. I hope it resonates. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you're subscribed because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, my loves, if you chose pile number two, this is, your reading. So all of the oracle decks that I will be working with will be listed down, down below. And the tarot deck that I'm working with is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, which as I was telling pile number one is just such a sweet love story if you ask me. Just me, just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments if you agree. We don't have to agree though. So let's go ahead and put your pile over here and let's see what's up.
see what's going on. What does pile number two need to hear for their love life? Wow, queen of, queen of swords. Nine of pentacles. It's so funny. Sorry. Okay. It's so funny because what I am hearing with the queen, <laughs> the queen of swords, I'm getting this vibe of, I heard, I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. And with nine of pentacles, I have everything I need. I have everything I want. Everything I need and want is right here. And that's not, that's not a bad vibe at all. I feel as though in your love life, good or bad, I don't believe there is such a thing as good or bad, but in your love life, there's this message of, or this theme of independence, standing on your own two feet, making sure other people know that. It can be a little intimidated, intimidating, but it's only intimidating to those who don't have a lot to contribute <laughs> or are threatened by a person who knows their worth and self-value and spirit is saying you are enough you are enough you are whole at the same time what do we have here at the same time we have five six six of cups ten of swords reversed nine of cups reversed something is coming back in something is revisiting something is resurfacing that is there to complete the picture oh my gosh I was just about to say, I'm surprised I didn't see the Wheel of Fortune card here, but here it is at the very top. Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's saying something hasn't, some cycle hasn't been complete. Some cycle hasn't been whole. Because this reading is very specific for a general audience, you're going, this pile, I feel, really has to take into consideration that everybody has a different story, everybody has a different background, and everyone's messages maybe similar in the fact that we gravitate towards certain piles for a specific reason but you really have to apply it you know to your life to your situation i cannot wait to see what oracle cards you have pulled there's something here that you have mourned in the past there's something you have mourned or are mourning a loss I'm, I just heard the word grimace. It's something that when you think of it, you ugh, you clinch. Like you're, it shows on your face your pain. It shows on your face your suffering, the emptiness, the the feelings of of lack. And spirit, right now in your love life, is calling. I don't think it's you. I actually feel like spirit is calling your angels, your guides, your spiritual spiritual team to address the feelings of pain, suffering, trouble, ache that really need to be healed and spirit is saying we we do not actually want you to do this by yourself. There is an acknowledgement that you have done a lot on your own for yourself. That is they are acknowledging your success, they are acknowledging your stability, they're acknowledging your strength. Whether you feel like you are in look, the strength card just jumped out. They are acknowledging your strength. Whether you feel like you have achieved, that, you are that you've become accomplished or that you're successful, Spirit is saying, we see how far you have come. We see where your root was. We see how you've navigated through those waters. We see how you have tried and, and you know, put yourself out there and continue to show up. And Spirit says, we, we see that we acknowledge it. Underneath this, yes, three of cups. As soon as I see this and the high priestess, I'm, I, for some reason with the three of cups reversed, I feel like I just heard, like, what was the cost, Jess? Talk, talk to them and tell them the cost. Some of you guys have really had to sacrifice your own happiness, your own, uh, what's the word that just the spirit just said? like affirmations, like confirmation, reassurance. Some of you guys have really sacrificed feelings of being reassured by other people from your guides simply because you had to go it alone. So you didn't really get to hear people say, you know, give you that pat on the back and tell you that you're doing a good job. And that's a really big, I really want to focus on that. That's a really big 
lack, to not be reassured. And if you are pulling from, you know, the things that you need to hear from yourself alone, yes, that adds to your strength, but it does feel good and it is necessary for you to hear it from other people. This also may be a pile that may have issues where, you know, they they have trouble, they've had trouble fitting in or they may have had issues with their family or they're like the black sheep in the family. And they know that they're loved, they know that they're, you know, valuable to the family or to your friends or to your community or whatever, but there's still that feeling of, I need to hear it. I really, I really f need to hear it. And I was going to say, I really need to fucking hear it. Cause that's, that's what I'm hearing. Like from you, I feel like this is you guys saying this, like, Jess, you don't need to know how badly, like I, you need to know how badly I need to hear this. Six of li literally my, my loves, listen, six of wands reversed. Six of Wands is the card of celebration where the whole community comes around and celebrates you and supports you and lifts you up for what you have done, for how far you have come. But this card is reversed. And it says that it's almost like it's your birthday and you're throwing yourself here a birthday party for you. Or it's Valentine's Day and you're buying yourself flowers and roses. Or it's you know, your paycheck comes in and you're getting all of your groceries or you're paying, you know, keeping the lights on. And those things, Queen of Swords will say, well, yeah, that's what's expected of me or survival, like that I had to do it. And that's true, but there's an emptiness. If we really sat with this, there's an emptiness, a suffering that comes from you doing it by yourself all alone. And Spirit is saying, we want you to know that we are actively working on that for you. We're working on sewing. I'm seeing with Sally, I'm pretty sure that's her name in The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I get all of the characters' names mixed up in all different types of movies. That's not my strong point. My intuition is my strong point. My, my understanding of symbolism and astrology is my strong point as I hold up the High Priestess, but remembering the tangible things definitely not my strong point but back to you so sally i'm pretty sure that was her name in the movie she was following her intuition following her gut she knew and sensed danger and she was always like weaving herself back together she would throw herself from the tower from her circumstances break down break apart rip rip a leg off and actively sew it back in and get back out and spirit is acknowledging the fact that you actually have done that but I'm really getting a strong sense that spirit is saying, we're going to lay that to rest. This is aspects of your, especially with six of cups here, this is aspects of your childhood where you might've had to be the parent or you might've had to be responsible or you haven't been able to have as much fun. This pile may feel like having fun is a waste of time or they feel guilt or shame with that. And spirit is saying that if you are in a relationship or if you are calling out for a relationship, it's imperative that you work on your ability or it's imperative that they actually work on your ability to be able to relax, to ease, to, um, you know, not show up for everyone. And, and they're trying to bring into your life the energy of another person showing up for you. Um, uh, there's something else that's coming through and I feel like it might be actually being here. They're literally telling me to be quiet. Yep. Four of swords reversed, two of cups upright, ace of wands, and the five of pentacles reversed. This is what they're trying to work on for you is they're trying to give you rest in the sense of not that you're going to be stagnant, still pulled off from connecting with intimacy with other people because actually you're going to be actively becoming intimate and building your relationship and building your bond, no matter how different this partnership will be, it's going to feel like spark. It's going to feel chemistry. You're going to know it, see it, be it, do it. All of it is going to be in your face. You're never going to have to call into question with it. And it's not going to be a space of lack. In fact, you almost want to not sit back and demand, but just be soft and say, wow, this really means a lot to me that you showed up, that you traveled this distance, 
that you gave me that kiss on my forehead, that we were going for a walk in the park holding hands. Spirit is saying we are working on right now turning this chapter, turning the wheel around so that this is something that you don't have to necessarily do for yourself. We acknowledge the fact that you might be happy or satisfied or content with doing things on your own, with planning things and all of that, but we really want to reward you and celebrate you and we really want to see you celebrated and I genuinely am getting a feeling that in your love life you are going to enter into a stage in a cycle where you can let your guard down, you can be soft, you can be vulnerable, you are receiving gifts, you're receiving cake, I don't know why that's specific but you are receiving your roses, you're receiving softness, you're receiving time all of the love languages. I'm also getting a sense of it's not just one love language, it's all of the love languages. And it's really filling you up. But definitely words of affirmation. Some of you guys are so, like, feel almost feel guilty of hearing other people celebrating you and loving you because you're not, you're so accustomed to not hearing it that you're just, if someone gave you a compliment, you almost say, thanks, no, nope, everyone, anyone can do it. And it's like, no, this is amazing what you're doing here. And we want to acknowledge that. We want to celebrate that. All right. What do we have for your Oracle card? New growth. Yes. Heal the past. Wow. This is so powerful what's coming through. Heal the past. This is back to, again, this five of cups energy here. That you might be solid. You might be successful. You might have come a long way. But I just keep hearing it came with a price. And this is where this new growth is coming through. This is where these new springs, these new buds are, are opening or preparing to open and preparing to blossom and they're thawing out. I'm really getting, especially with Queen of Swords here, she can be very icy sometimes. And no, Spirit is not punishing you for that. They're just saying, we acknowledge it, we see it, we accept it. Maybe this is, if you're currently in a relationship, in this, it, there might have been, this is something that I'm getting, um, there might have been times within your relationship where, you know, your partner might have been self-focused on on them, you know, their 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 needs, their survival, their whatever, or they might have. You might be entering into a spot into your relationship where they are um, more more vulnerable with you, more softer with you when at, at times they were so cut off, they were so distant, they were so removed. This could be a physical distance or it could be an emotional or mental distance where all of the other boxes and the relationship are checked but there's this one spot that you just can't thaw out in them. And I'm just really getting a sense that spirit is working on that for you. And I feel like you are content but spirit says but to be content is not enough for us and we want you to have more so i'm just really getting a strong sense of energy being thawed out yep finances and career there are other things other circumstances other factors that have taken your priority taken your focus or taken your partner's focus and priority and put your full happiness in the relationship or full ability to enjoy the relationship kind of on the back burner and you've kind of been low simmering it for a minute, but now Spirit says, okay, we've done all of these other main course meals and now we need to work on the finale. So they pull it up to the front of the uh, of the stove and they turn it up and say, we're salting this and put this ingredient in there and put this on there and this is where you're putting all of your time. That's the cycle that is that you're entering into. So the aspects that you've already gone through and experienced in the past are kind of come crashing down kind of get pushed down, you know, and spirit is actively doing this for you. Honeymoon stage, literally, this is about moving through the next cycle, the next stage in reaping the reward, enjoying the fruits of your labor, um, spending quality time together, going on a trip, hyper-focusing it on the two of you. Now, this is, if you're in a relationship, but if you're not in a relationship, this is about things are going to start shifting into more pleasure of the senses, pleasure of the heart, and you not being so focused on your career, your survival, your friends, things that have been, you know, just things that are survival mode, like things that you have to take care of. Then we have keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. 
in order for things to be balanced out, um, you know, it's got to, they have to be balanced. <laughs> I know that sounds like Dutch, yes, that's cliche, but the balance, the scales have to be balanced in your life. It can't just be all in one area and nothing in one area. It has to be balanced out because it's only fair. And I just feel like, again, this is outside of your control. I'm really getting a strong sense that this is outside of your control. But this is your angels, your guides, your spiritual team coming in as the keeper of the scales and evening it out for you. So if there is a sp space of your life that has been, you know, kind of dormant, especially with the four of swords here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this area of your life that has been dormant, has been off your radar or kind of put on hold or hesitating to grow or hesitating to warm up or be prosperous and thriving, then this is the area that's going to start showing up. And this means that other people are going to start showing up for you. Look, oh my goodness, your intention. I was waiting to see if there's going to be intention here. And you also have the high priestess. So this, okay, hitting the mark, intention, detachment. You have already mastered the art of detachment. I truly feel that. Emotional detachment, mental detachment, to the point where spirit is saying, we actually want to reattach and put together these this um, survival mode that you've kind of become accustomed to of removing these things. But in order for it to be fair and balanced, all of the aspects of your life have to be cohesively working together and harmoniously aligned. And I just feel like the high priestess goes to the altar. She goes to her space. She makes a time to do this because it's important. She goes to her space. She sets the intention and spirit then steps forward and then moves the arrow so that you actually hit the mark when it comes to having all of this coming and flowing together. Um, yeah, be positive, reach for the stars. So again, this is about setting intention and putting your energy into expecting more, wanting more, and knowing that you're ready to receive more. Courage. Sometimes it takes courage to say, I am happy where I'm at. I have come a long way. Is it okay? angels, guides, spiritual team, if I ask for more, because it does feel like there's a little bit of heartache here or heaviness there, or I don't say punishment, but it feels like you kind of been putting other things ahead or kind of waiting that a spirit is saying you've kind of been waiting for too long. The wheel of fortune was also up reversed. So they want to turn it upright and they say, okay, yeah, you kind of been stuck in this stage for a minute. So now we want to move it forward. Don't be misled. When I see this, I hear, I go back to the Queen of Swords and I think, you know, I don't need anybody. I have everything I want, I have everything I need, I've come a long way and I'm happy. And that's where I'm feeling like that's where this misleading information is coming from because you, uh, how do I say this? You're being happy, it's like you, you have, I don't want to say settled, but you have decided that your happiness will look like a certain thing, or this is as good as it can get, or this is as far as we can go. And it's almost like that mindset has actually kind of blocked, has actually kind of blocked this new growth from occurring, this new level, because I feel like, again, you've You've, you're taking where it is that you've come from, you're taking what it is that you've experienced and just saying this is as good as it can get. Look, oh my goodness. If they once loved you, they still do. I truly feel like you have the Six of Cups here. Yep, right here. Oh, Nine of, nine of Cups. Hey, here it is. There's something from the past I'm really feeling like it's coming back up again. If they love you once, they still do. There's certain, or if it's not someone from the past or issues of the past, um, I am really seeing coming back, taking the relationship um, kind of full circle, kind of taking things that were problems and resolving them, taking things that you wanted as a child and bringing them into fruition now. All of this, and it's different for everybody. Okay, Archangel Michael, this is exactly what I was saying. I do not think that this is going to be you doing it all by yourself. In fact, I strongly have a sense that there is a spirit guide, spiritual team, ascended master, archangel, who is powerful, who will say, call it out, it will be done. Look at my website for the Archangel Miracle Prayer. Someone needs to hear that. I do not think that this is going to be you. I think it's actually going to be Archangel Michael who he literally breaks the chains. He breaks the wheel, the cycle. He breaks fate. He breaks karma and makes it right, makes it whole. Well, I actually, I should probably do this again. I haven't done this in a minute. 
I'm gonna get one of my white candles, my fixed candles, and bring it to Archangel Michael, and we'll do it to, together. I think it's seven weeks or nine weeks. I can never remember, but look at look at it. Look for it. Retreat. See what I'm saying? Haunt honeymoon card and celebration. This is what I'm saying. This is about. I don't say retreating, but spring, new life, new abundance, new blessings, a, a new time, a new energy that's coming into your life where you are being celebrated. You are being rewarded. You are receiving the accolades and the attention the, and the, the, the gifts and the acknowledgement that is that you rightfully deserve. But call out, speak with Archangel Michael, do that, that prayer, I'll link it down below in the description box, but do that prayer in order to break the cycle, in order to push it to the next level, because I do not see you doing it on your own. You've gone as far as you can go solo dolo, now it's time for you to rely on the, the, big, the big dogs, Archangel. In this case, Archangel Michael. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, do your research on him. He's amazing. All right. So I hope this message resonates. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I'm hoping that you are blessed beyond measure, beyond your greatest, wildest visions that you can think of and see, especially with Reach for the Stars. Um, the other thing is, it's just like pile number one. I don't think that you're asking for too much. I think that you're not asking for enough. I think that was that pile, but that's another message too. But make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, my loves. If you chose pile number three, this is your message. All of the oracle cards that I have shuffled and pulled for you are right here, and they will also be linked down below in the description box. And the tarot deck that I'm working with is the Nightmare Before Christmas, which I will also be linking down below. And like I described to pile number one, pile number two, I feel like the Nightmare Before Christmas story is so sweet and so endearing. Um, so I really felt called to talk, to use this tarot deck to talk to us when it comes to your love life and what's going on here. So right away, um, right away, I'm noticing the way that I'm setting up the cards right now, for those of you guys that don't know, sometimes I tip, well, a lot of times I don't actually work with a whole reading spread. I just kind of allow the cards to fall as they do, as they will. And I am almost getting a Two of Swords type of energy here. I don't see the Two of Swords here so far yet. I wouldn't be surprised if it shows up, but I feel like there's this uh, stuck in the middle with you. That's what I'm hearing right now <laughs> from the Beatles. It's, it feels like a relationship or uh, um, your energy feels very stuck. It feels, it's interesting because we have the Empress and the Page of Cups here, which is pouring, which is abundant, which is plentiful. It feels very stuck regardless. I feel that this is the potential. This is one side over here, the High Priestess and the Knight of Wands upright, and the other side is the Nine of Swords. Six, what did we have here? Four of Cups reversed and the Judgment card reversed. Now, let me say this to you. If you are in a relationship or a connection of some sort, or even if you're single, actually. I feel there's you and then there's the other, and there's what we don't allow ourselves to see, what we are avoiding, what we don't wanna hear, what we don't wanna address, and we just kind of are maintaining the status quo. Meanwhile, the potential between the two, between you and your love, you and your soulmate, you and whoever you're with right now, if you chose this pile, is abundant, but there's something that you're not saying. There's something that you're not seeing. There's something that you're feeling, but you might have fear in address it or in addressing it or bringing it up, or it's almost like you're waiting to see what the other person will do or what will happen or, it, but and then it starts getting, I'm sorry, there's a lot of energy coming through here. Now I start feeling like I'm walking on eggshells. Now I'm starting to feel uncomfortable in our bond. I'm starting to feel uncomfortable in my skin. That, so, okay, and I'm saying that because this is what I'm channeling right now. On the one side, I'm gonna start with this side first. The one side, we have someone who intuitively senses that something is up or something is off, 
or um, senses that there's something out there, something more that they want, something, um, and I don't see this so much as exploring their options or seeing what else is out there, so to speak. Maybe, maybe that could be it, but I just am getting the sense of keeping, like if you have your eyes closed or someone thinks that you're sleeping, I don't know why this is very specific, but I see someone not sleeping and having an eye open, you know what I mean, kind of like looking. Um, and I, if this is not an actual thing, it's a metaphor, it's symbolic for really knowing something is up but not speaking up on it, not saying it, and kind of watching to see what happens, watching to see what occurs. Meanwhile, this other partner or this person is very active and moving and mobile and engaging and playing and, you know, just on, on the go. A lot of movement, a lot of activity, but also simultaneously watching what you're doing. I'm almost getting this reflection. Watching what you're doing, watching what's up and kind of feeding off of your energy. Meanwhile, or their energy. So it could be, this is very, like you guys, again, two of swords that you just have me caught right now. Um, so this other person, I'm getting anxiety. I feel like, I don't want to say that they're not fully happy or fully, um, I get, I'm hearing like stomach, like an, a stomach that is emptying. So it's that you're hungry, but you don't know what you want. <laughs> So, but you don't want to just kind of fill it with fillers. You want to figure out, okay, what do I want? And it's actually kind of making you anxious because I feel, or this person, it's making them anxious because they feel like they're watching me or I'm watching them and they're waiting for me to say, okay, this, or I'm waiting for them to say, this is what I want. This is what's up. So you're kind of doing this. Dun, 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 dun. And you guys are just stuck. Then we have the judgment card reversed. It's blinding yourself and refusing to see the light. Refusing to see. And I just heard, and now it becomes a dysfunction. Now it becomes a problem. If you are single, there I am definitely getting this space of conflicting like a crossroads. Where do I go? What do I want? What do I do? And meanwhile, the center of this, the center of the love reading has a lot, an infinite amount of potential. You have Page of Cups, you have the Empress card. Both of those cards are upright. They are ready to pour into you. They are ready to pour regardless. But I'm also feeling Oh, yep, look, the Emperor and the Empress. I, I was going to say, what are we creating here? Where are we taking this? Where are we going? Ten of Wands. This is really standing out to me. What's this all about? Ten of Wands reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. There's something... I heard, I'm hearing the word surrender. There's something with the masculine energy that isn't, is trying to get ready to let the guard fully down um, or take the relationship to the next level or to show up and be present. They really want to be responsible. If they, um, how do I say this? When they are ready to give their all and to be responsible and committed and to show up, they do give their all. If there's doubt, hesitation, or an inkling that something is off, they will not invest all of themselves initially. They see and feel the potential. You see and feel the potential. The reward. It's promising. I'm hearing the word, it's promising. But, but, <laughs> the next thing that I'm seeing here. To be honest with you, two of pentacles. Do you see it's a jack in a box type of energy? And this is tying me to the energy of the judgment card. It's the things that are like it just kind of jumps out. Sorry if I scared anyone just now. <laughs> but it's the judgment card that is reversed that wants to kind of emerge and show up and showcase and say, Can we can we address this? Can we see this? Can we talk about it? Can we or if this is, I'm also getting the sense of um, if you are single, 
this is something that there's aspects within yourself that you might be questioning, am I truly ready for a commitment? Am I really truly ready for um, a responsible to be responsible for another person or to show up for another person? And some of you guys will say, well, yeah, of course I am. But are you because I'm all the, the emperor card here is upright. It's again, it's the potential. The potential is there, but there's a two of swords. There's this conflicting thing here. I, I'm getting a sense of, I don't know if I'm truly ready to let my guard down just so much yet because 10 of swords, 10 of wands, both of those cards are reversed. Um, and you are, there's some anxiety here. The judgment card reversed. These are issues of our past that have happened, that have occurred, that we have not forgotten. And the high priestess rules the subconscious. She rules, you know, our conscious mind can know what we want or know that this makes sense or know that this is logical, know that this is, you know, makes you happy. But the subconscious mind will sense that, wait, something about that is triggering me. Something about that is up making me upset. Something about that makes me vulnerable. But it does want to come together. And I just feel like you're waiting, you're waiting. Dun, 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 dun. You're waiting for the, the other shoe to drop. You're waiting for them to fuck up, pardon my French. You're waiting for the, it to be the straw that broke the camel's back. And, and literally the strength card reversed here. You're waiting for the weakness. You're waiting for it to fall apart. You're waiting for them to snap. You're waiting for it to just diminish. And the thing is, is that it's not going to. Wow. It's not going to. It's not meant to. It's not meant to. And hold on. I got to put these two together. We have the emperor. We have the empress. I just heard those all at once. You guys are getting a lot of songs. I had it all, but it doesn't mean anything. So that's, I think that's an Alicia Keys song. But it's like, I feel like this is a person who had it all, felt like everything was stable and secure, and it got uprooted. Five of Cups, just like pile number two. Something came in and disrupted, disrupted, your well-being, I'm going to say that, disrupted. And from that, you kind of are sewing your eyes up, even with this page of cups here, kind of sewing your eyes up from seeing certain things, addressing certain things, talking about certain things, not allowing yourself to experience certain things because you don't want to Disrupt you don't I, it, it's and it, everybody's gonna be different. Every message is gonna be very different Nine of cups, I'm not gonna lie to you while I was looking at the Emperor card here I feel like some of you guys were asking how how long how much until when you know and nine of cups it's not about law of attraction like if you expect the worst you'll get the worst or if you expect the best you'll get the best it's you're going to get what you want this is regardless of what you are putting out to the universe oh goodness all of these piles really go together really well queen of cups showed up i just heard the word dank dank something very potent very strong six of pen pentacles what it is that you're allowing yourself what, I'm actually hearing uh, pre doomsday, <laughs> doomsday prepping. Someone who is gathering, gathering, gathering quickly, 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 for trying to prepare for the worst. Because you're afraid. I'm not done with you guys yet. King of Pentacles, the higher font reverse. There's this idea, you want to feel stable. So this is what, okay, this is the message here. Spirit is saying that the only thing that doesn't change is the fact that everything always changes. Like that's the constant. Things are always going to change. And when something occurs or when something happens, try your best 
not to take it personally because it's just the cycles of life. And with the King of Pentacles here and with the Hierophant reverse, it's the foundation, the core foundation that makes you feel safe, that makes you feel um, worthy and makes you feel loving and beautiful and um, flowing. You, you want to, you, you're looking for signs of it crumbling and you're also looking for signs that it's solid and ultimately it's burning you out. You're not going to be able, and this is not a punishing message, it's actually kind of freeing. You're not going to be able to, you would be surprised, I'll say this, you will be surprised where you will find your thriving soil. Like you, you'll be surprised where you'll find the soil that you're going to thrive in. The moon card. And I think, so what it actually is, is the subconscious. Oh, the lover's card. See? Lover's card, five, six, seven of cups, reverse, and ace of swords. The truth is, is that true love, it doesn't go away. Your soulmate, like what is for you truly will not be taken from you. And you holding all of it together, you trying to put it all together so that it fits, it doesn't, you're, you're just, you would all, all, only end up ultimately forcing it. And it's all, at the end of the day, what you're looking for to confirm a connection, to confirm a vibe, to confirm your soulmate exists, or to confirm this relationship is right for you, to confirm that you guys are going in the right in direction, it's an illusion. All of that, the, these signs that you're looking for, it's actually an illusion. It's not real. And that's the actual truth, Ace of Swords here, is that it's an illusion, it's not real. We have Strength card reverse. That's This should be freeing, not punishing in any way to, to you guys. Two of Pentacles, you're waiting for it to, but what you're doing is you're projecting that energy onto your partner, your partner's projecting that energy onto you, and it just starts to turn into this Two of Swords type vibe here. I feel like I'm getting this really strong connection to um, for some reason, with Seven of Cups, Reverse, and the High Priestess. Did you have the High Priestess? Yeah, you did have the High Priestess, but I put her back. Um, I'm getting a really strong connection to generation, generational cycles. The, like, I'm hearing history repeating itself. So this is um, generations that have come before you that have experienced loss or lack or suffering. Um or your own history. You're really terrified of history, quote unquote, repeating itself. And Queen of Cups, I feel like you guys need to revisit or listen to card pile number one. Queen of Cups says, be very mindful and cautious and aware of exactly what it is that you're creating emotionally. Some of us are so concerned with our mental health and our physical health, but we're neglecting our emotional health in the pursuit of all these other healths. You know what I mean? So. I just am feeling like the truth is, is that no relationship is perfect. Every relationship has its story. Every person has its story. If you think of the notebook, they were soulmates at the end of the day. They showed up for each other till the end of time through the thick and the thin. And the signs and the tales of the signs that you would look for to be like, okay, yeah, this is it. It didn't, it was all illusion. It was all our perspective. So you don't want to look towards that to confirm the feeling that is that you have within you or the feeling of the potential of the relationship or the potential of what is within you because it's not going to logically make sense. It's not going to add up. The truth is, is that any signs that is that you're looking for to confirm that this is right, to confirm that that person is out there is a figment of your imagination, AKA your perspective. So really, truly be open. Try don't look anymore for the jack-in-the-box to jump out. Don't look for the other shoe to drop. Don't look for the straw that broke the camel's back. Those are things that are coming through. Look, Ace of Cups and the uh, five, six, seven, eight of Needles, Eight of Swords. She's taking from her emotions, she's making a medicine here. She's pulling herself back together. And that's what is that I'm seeing for you. Let's see what's going on with your Oracle cards. The other thing that I just heard is that you're not responsible. This is a message. I just heard this. You are not responsible for anyone else's emotional 
behavior, emotional, like the turbulence of their emotions, the turbulence of their mind. You're not, that's their devil. Can you see that? That's their boogeyman. That's their shadow self. You are not responsible for that. And I don't want you to fall victim to what others are doing or what others are projecting because it kind of binds you up. So if you're focusing on, you know, your health and well-being, your subconscious, your worries, your healing, your one, two, three, four, five, six. Something about those six pumpkins is standing out to me. Actually, now I think about it, this cross here is a sign of ancestry. It's about breaking karma and also justice. Interesting. I just feel I'm getting a history repeats itself. Six. The pow the number six is really standing out here. You're, you're breaking a cycle. This pile is breaking a karmic cycle. Yep. Wheel of Fortune reverse the Emperor. When it comes to masculine energy, when it comes to being dominant, when it comes to being present, when it comes to being you know, showing up available, what mat emotional maturity looks like for you, what responsibility looks like for you. Some people have had um, father figures or masculine energy, like toxic masculinity. King of Pentacles, Strength card reverse, Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. This is where you get that thing of just waiting for the other shoe to drop, waiting for something to fall apart. Okay, what do we have here? Bring to fruition, okay new wonders, awakening dreams, summer ferns, and snow. So what I'm feeling here is, I don't know why I keep going back to the high priestess. So the subconscious, your dream state, the feminine form, the feminine energy being about receiving, being receptive, I'm also seeing the form of masculine energy, which says, I let the feminine energy be bask in her glory. I let her be abundant and beautiful, and I respect her. That's a big thing too, respect. Because I feel like with the masculine energy, sometimes it's not that they don't respect or that you're not being respected or you're not respecting yourself. It's just that you don't know how to demonstrate that. There's a lot coming through here. These are very, this is a very specific message. I'm sorry, guys. That is what I'm seeing is being awakened. That's why it's connected to justice because it does feel like there's an imbalance. This is the moon card, but it's this cross of justice that's sitting here. And these past memories, these past issues, these past things. Interesting. Stay optimistic about your love life. See what I'm saying? It's expecting the worst. Separation. Yeah, some of you guys are really scared of, you know, being abandoned, being isolated, being separated, but sometimes it's really good. Children. I feel like this is exactly what I'm talking about. The father figure issues, the mother figure issues, and the impact it has on the child. AKA, in this case, I feel like it's you. Calling in your soulmate. Playfulness. So this truly is about calling in your soulmate. This is calling in this next level vibration energy. Next um, big time healing. Instead of you trying to, um, not I don't want to say figure it out, but be strong or to, 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 to do it all or to expect your partner to do it all or for it to be healed, I'm really getting a strong sense of calling in even your ancestors to help to heal problems that might be reoccurring within your generational line. That's something that's really coming through with it. it. I know it's not a justice card, but with the moon card, it's justice and the moon are definitely connected. And the moon is the subconscious, it's our fears, it's the things that cripple us, the things that are our kryptonite, that just catch us off guard. And I also think that that's why separation is good because I feel like your partner is dealing with their wounds. They're dealing with their demons. They're dealing with their boogeyman. And it almost feels like it's kind of projecting onto you or you're projecting onto them. And there's something within both of you guys that needs to be reawakened, that needs to be dealt with, that needs to be healed. 
and that will open the door to, like I said, new wonders. And it is something to be optimistic of it about, like optimistic about. It is something to have hope for. It is something to be excited about, to be opt optimistic. I said that. It is something for you to hold on to and for you to look, blessings. It's just you want to call in the element and the energy of healing over it. Blessings, manifestation, harmony, forgiveness. See what I'm saying? This is exactly about in order for you guys to come together more cohesively, more powerfully, and, and sync that tie together, you don't want to judge where you come from. In fact, as I'm pulling now, do you see how the reading is kind of spanning out into a rainbow now? Like it kind of has this like arc to it. It's because there's after this lockup, you call in these blessings, you call in literally, you call in these blessings, you call in the energy of your angels, your guides in order to heal the things that you can't do. It will manifest. Meanwhile, you are actively forgiving your partner. You are actively forgiving yourself. You're actively forgiving those who have abandoned you, those who have um, shown or demonstrated a dis disservice to you that is blocking your energy up and then things start to flow then things start to harmonize then we can work better together but also I'm seeing this idea of separation this doesn't mean that the relationship itself has to break apart but take some time um, in your meditation take some time away from your partner away or to your for yourself in order to speak healing over the two of you over your love life okay and then we have wow the Queen of Light, Illumination, Enlightenment, and Celebration. So you are truly, like see here, we have Awakening Dreams. You are truly coming into your power. You are truly being enlightened. Um, and that's not something that it just goes with you. It shares out, especially with Celebration. It gets shared with everyone. It gets shared with your partner. The Word Lord, Communication, Praise, and Dishonesty. This is the things that is that you're struggling with is that some masculine energy, I'm really feeling like this, masculine energy is afraid to be seen as weak or vulnerable or they're afraid that they are not protecting like they should, not show up as they should or not doing enough as they should or whatever the case is and they're not, they need to... They need to hear and understand it in their spirit, the things that it is that they lack within their energy, within their soul, within their heart. And that's something that the, the, math, the feminine form, it's not her responsible to heal the masculine form, nor is it the masculine's job to heal the feminine form. But the, the empress, the queen, goes for enlightenment. She goes to the angels for enlightenment. And the emperor heals and handles his issues, heals his wounds and blockages. This is how we get the lover's card, which you guys had, and the emperor and the empress coming together. Feminine, masculine forms coming together. Sign from heaven. See what I'm saying? I really feel like calling in your soulmate here, awakening dreams, the energy of the high priestess, which I did put her back, but I have not forgotten about her. I feel like there are those who have passed that are here to give you encouragement, blessing, and truly blessing. And to make sure that you're not repeating the mistakes of the past. And I think a big mistake of the past is not being open, vulnerable, listening, transparent, not asking for enough, kind of accepting and settling. That's what you're, I just feel like a really strong grandma, grandpa energy coming through saying, don't do what we did. You know, we may have had a long loving life, but it was our bullshit. It was our inability to be transparent. It was our ego. It was whatever it is that we needed to feed our demons that we fed that mess, not messed up our relationship. But if we, if given the chance, we wouldn't do it the same way again. So don't do what we did. I'm really getting a strong sense of that from this pile. What else do we have here? Raise your vibration. See what I'm saying? This separation card is the, a real big blessing because as you're separated the queen goes into her sacred space and she becomes illuminated she becomes enlightened and spirit and angels celebrate her and celebrate the relationship and heal the relationship the masculine energy is doing what he does he's learning how to communicate he's learning how to be strong what does strong mean for him or her Lo learning how to be transparent knowing how to show up knowing you know all of those things either way it's raising the vibration taking it to the next level loneliness 
Some of you guys are really scared. Even the masculine form, feminine form, both of them are scared of being abandoned. They've been abandoned before. They've been rejected before. They've been hurt before. And there's this fear that's kind of stopping them. Um, or it, 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 then it also says here, um, when you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. So separation is actually good for putting the pieces back together. Look, you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. There's no one, there's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. This is what I'm talking about, you guys, this ancestry stuff. Our grandparents, our family before us, it's their, their issue was we just didn't know how to, sh how to show it. We didn't know how to show up. So don't make the mistakes that we had done, that we have done. That you have options is meaningful, rock on. If I could make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depth of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance, just as you now are to the lives of so many. And of course, I'd wish for even more wishes. Oh shoot, you were such a good idea, the universe. So this one is as I'm saying, is that, again, there, look, and honor thyself. I'm seeing this pile needs to kind of go in their little safety bubble, connect with their ancestors, connect with their guides, call, talk to their spiritual team, call in those blessings, reap the reward. That's what it is I'm seeing here. Let me know in the comments if this message resonates. Let me know if you have any questions. Until then, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share it with your friends. Hit the thumbs up button if it resonates, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.